Do you mind if we do a burnout? No, it's all good. Okay, thank you. Ready? <laughs> In 1957, Ford introduced the El Ranchero, a pretty unique design with the sedan front end combined with the truck back end. It was a total success and Chevrolet took notes and in 1959 they released the legendary El Camino which sold over 22,000 units in the first year. Sales went up and down and it even got temporarily canceled at one point but for the next 28 years the El Camino would go on to become one of the most unique and legendary vehicles in the states. Forward to 2019 and in spite of there being more cars than ever before combined with the fact that the most popular is a Chevy truck it's a total surprise that there currently is no sedan based truck or is there? I present to you the Tesla Mino. Wow, this is a fancy one, it has the thing. Yeah, but don't try and open it. <laughs> it might fall off. So, doesn't it feel weird sitting in a Tesla this high? You're in the air. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that is that because they're too pressurized or is because it's Yeah, we, we jacked them all the way up just to see. Uh, to break them loose how, Well, to see how high we could actually get it. Oh, yeah, and so we need to let some air out and give it a more uh, damped and dried. So this has like no traction control, no nothing. This is just... No, traction control's been turned off. Turned off. Uh, for the dirt. Oh, look at people just stare at it. They're like, is that a train wreck? Because <laughs> it looks like a train wreck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back wagon. Now we got travel. All right. How did this thing come about? Man? Well, um, you know, we, we used to haul our electric dirt bikes out uh, to McCain Valley in the desert with Michael, and uh, we're driving down the road one day with our electric bikes, and we're like, hey, how cool would it be to stick them in something with autopilot and use an electric car for it? And there's no really, there's no electric truck, so we both kind of just looked at each other at the same time. We're like, well, let's chop up a Tesla because we got plenty of them here to play with, and. Uh, I guess that's where the Tesla Mino was born. And uh, came back to the shop, grabbed one of the Teslas, and just uh, slowly and meticulously started cutting away body panels so we didn't cut into any wires. And uh, this is kind of what we ended up with. And from one stupid conversation, it kind of snowballed into, let's make it uh, let's make it nice. So I think the next steps are to kind of build this thing up a little bit and uh, make it actually uh, presentable to the public so it's not just a complete hack job but uh you know we put some structural integrity back into it a little bit more because we did cut out a good section of the roof and uh just kind of see where it goes It'd be kind of a fun project to work on so this is not this not not the hack portion? the hack is the actual hydro uh, the air system i should say oh so it's a mechanical hack it's a not total a total mechanical hack. hack so we actually bypass the software of it because that particular compressor that runs in the front is oh. out of an actual model that has air ride in oh it. i see i thought this was a, like software hack no well it's, to, it's, it's it's kind of a hardware bypass donuts. yeah you know it's, I'm a software engineer. I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. Oh, okay. I don't want to write any code. Yeah. You're a self I'm software engineer, so he's not gonna hack it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, software. I'm gonna cut up some wires and uh, put some switches on it and make it look cool. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that's the fun part. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, basically we we took the compressor out of it, out of another model, and then uh, Michael and I kind of remapped and retraced what wire did what. And I figured out the solenoids in there and what the, actuates the pumps. So we actually reused um, the original pumps, the original solenoids and everything out of a car with air already in it. And then we kind of spliced all the wires together to control each wheel. So I could put the ride height back up. And um, the regular stock Teslas that have air ride on them have a sensor for ride height. Yeah. This one, I didn't put any of those sensors on, obviously. So I could jack it up as high as it, it will let me mechanically go. Yeah. Um, and that's how we got some of the height out of it. Um, I think it went up a total of six inches. Six inches? Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. why the big tires are on. Exactly. What are, the big what are the big tires? Um, so those are BFGs. Uh, they're a very awkward size. They're on, a, I believe, a 19-inch rim. And they're only like 29s. So <laughs> it was a little bit of 
time to look for those. Michael actually found them online. We had a custom order. Um, they don't actually fit that car at all. Uh, that rim is too small. So we had to do some uh, some real hacking. Some real hacking. Yeah, and uh, you got to grind on a little bit of it. And the lower control arm or the lower part of the spindle does not clear the rim. <laughs> So, yeah, so we actually took a grinder to it. Um, yeah, this is version one. So, so this is this <laughs> proper hacking. <laughs> exactly. This is this is the ghetto part. But uh, we had to grind out a, a, quite a bit of metal there. Um, but the original, you know, idea is to, to put a different spindle on it eventually. Yeah. Maybe give it some different real travel. Ooh, a custom spindle. Custom spindle. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Exactly. Same caliper. So next same. level hacking. So next level hacking. We're actually going to do it right. And um, this is all just for to increase the fun level. Exactly, we're just doing this for fun. Um, yeah. As I said, it started with a conversation with two guys driving their electric Alta bikes out into the desert and said, hey, how much fun can we have with this? And then yeah. uh, literally we brought it in here. We, uh, we had like four or five guys on it and we spent around three or four hours cutting everything away. And uh, this is what kind of ended up. And from now, at this point, we're just gonna try to make it work better and better and kind of put it all together and make it right. Yeah, well, let's go ride it. Let's go ride it. <laughs> when Michael says that, you know you did well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, Anna. You really feel it. Like, you feel the power there. They need like... a wrap that can do that to the side of the car. Got it. looks so much better. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Make sure and check out EVWest.com, the sponsored if you need any parts for your electric car conversion, like this sweet Panasonic and Sony 100% genuine 18650 battery cells. With that, I say once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.